so I see that uh, Chat GPT or OpenAI just released a new new model or new uh, you can say it has a model or a version of Chat GPT which which is called uh, Chat GPT 4 with Canvas. So it is somewhat similar to what we have in cloud called Artifact, but um, it has I, I guess it has some limitation. It might also have some strength, but uh, you know, there, there are something that we can't do with it like for example we can't preview or we can't run an artifact or a code uh, within the browser uh, but let, let's give it a try i think this is just released a couple of hours back and uh, i think i i got uh i got the uh, preview of it so uh so let's try this uh, so i uploaded a note here and let me yeah, so I, I will try to follow the example given in the open ai uh, w w a blog or website so uh, i have a note here and i can type draft uh, sort blog post from note test so okay so this like this layout is different than what we had earlier uh, see I told you this is somewhat similar to what we had in cloud uh, anthropic cloud CLAD so oh, once we have this we can do some uh, inline editing or we can for example this let's say this part melting polar ice and we can do some modification uh, or I guess we can't undo that but uh, what else can I do I can ask it to refresh it melting polar ice is what we have right now so uh, it uh, it refreshed the whole paragraph or the whole sentence uh, so what else can we do uh, let's see so th this is like uh, this has I guess two things one is for the coding and one is for uh, most for writing and like writing articles or blog post this example which i'm showing you is uh, mainly focused on like blog post writing or any article writing uh, also let's see if we have so we have this button over here which says suggest edit um, add emoji add final polish reading level adjust the length so if i click on the adjust, adjust the length i can make it longer or let me let me make it shorter actually okay so right now it was almost like a whole page it is the center and um, the length and uh, let me add some emoji here wow this looks like i'm in real linkedin post where you have a lot of emojis so uh, this is uh, this is how it works with writing article or blog post and you can also copy this also uh, let's see the reading level uh, keep current reading level middle school okay so i guess this will increase or decrease the uh, complexity of it so uh, let's make it more complex i guess uh, I don't want to take a lot of I mean I don't want to make a very long video but yeah you can see uh, the sustained I mean we, I can see that they have used some like more dense or more difficult words for for like uh, like middle school or you know like younger students to understand so these are like these are the features uh, for writing the uh, blog post article with uh, that that is for for or with canvas so uh, let's try let's try the other feature which is okay uh, I don't know I don't have any idea what to think but write um, a code that will um, I don't know maybe let's write an and since I'm an Android developer I'll I record that will uh, display this so DS display a list of items in a uh, list 
सी कॉलम इन जेट पैक कंपोज फॉर एंड्रॉयड लेट्स सी इफ इट लाइक स्विचेस ओके या सो इट विल नो इट सेल्फ लाइक इफ इट नीड टू यूज द कैनवास सो इफ एवरी टाइम आई डू कैनवास इट वॉन्ट ऑलवेज लाइक सो इन दिस मोड सिंस दिस इज अ कोड एग्जाम्पल इट्स इट्स शोइंग इट इट इन लाइक टू पेन व्यू लाइक लाइक वी हैड इन एंथ्रोपिक क्लाउड ऑल्सो सो आई हैव दिस सो वन थिंग इज आई कैंट रन इट डिरेक्टली इन द ब्राउजर आई आई हैव टू कॉपी दिस एंड रन इट इन माई आई डी और लाइक इन वेर एवर लाइक दिस इज यूज सो वाट आई कैन डू इज मे बी ओके instead use list of 10 countries great mm so yeah he, there there are, i mean there are a lot of other things you can do let's see what what option we have here so code review uh port to a language what other language uh keep current python c plus keep current okay since this is and uh this is written in kotlin right now uh, uh, and this is for android i don't want to change that but fix bug add logs add comment okay let add let's add some logs here so we don't have any log statement right now uh, so it added a import for log and so it also added one debug log here one year here i guess this is nice um maybe we can uh create one more preview um for a different data set yeah i guess i don't know how how this like recompiling happens but um if if the context window like like whenever we like ask a new question if it doesn't generate the whole part of the code that's better i mean because we don't want to increase the context size uh, like when we want to for example like i just wanted to add this part of the uh, code uh, and i don't want the the context size to increase by this whole you know this file size um so yeah uh, this is one thing add log fix bug put to language code review okay let's click on the code review so i have added another preview okay let's see consider moving the item description okay nice i guess we can use this uh, when we do pr review or mr review uh, of our colleague uh, or our code our i mean of our code itself so that is a define this preview okay so yeah these i guess are the top features um, we can also copy this we can undo this to this version back to latest version okay so if i do undo one one more time i guess it will remove the log mm mm restore this version i don't know how this works but this is version to make edits you are viewing a previous version that's fine so yeah uh these these are the features let me know if you have any questions and i i can try out uh, any other use cases of this uh, if you don't have uh, this feature on your uh, chat gpt thanks thanks for watching bye